part to Jerry's second lesson and for those of you that may have missed the first lesson this is Jerry Kerr and Jerry Kerr is a very busy man indeed so thank you for taking the time today well, Jerry to show this. Awesome. Jerry is a mediator and he has a very busy schedule and he uses a wonderful device in his life um, to keep track of his busy schedule and he's very generously going to show us how he does this. Thank you Jerry. Not at all, thanks Miriam. Now I'm going to show how to use the calendar. I found this particularly interesting because I kept, when I went blind, I had no way of recording what events were when and I'd always forget what was on in three weeks time and I had to rely on others. Now I have no problem. So I'll show you first of all, after you wake up in the morning, if you want to check what you have today, how you can get Siri to read your appointments for today or for next week and then how you can schedule an appointment. Read appointments for tomorrow. Tomorrow, you have an appointment at 6 p.m. On Friday at 6 p.m., college night out. Okay, that's Siri telling me I've only one appointment tomorrow, which is great. Now, if I want to ask Siri something else. Read appointments for next week. Appointments at 7 30, 8, 8, and 5 p.m. You also have an all day appointment on Monday at 7 30 p.m. Labor Selection Convention, on Monday at 8 p.m. Constituency Convention, on Tuesday at 8 p.m. PPC Meeting, on Thursday at 5 p.m. Nails Booked at Glam. So no, just to tell you, Nails Booked, that's not me, that's my wife, because my wife also has an iPhone. And we have our calendars synchronized. So anything I do pops up on hers and anything she does pops up on mine, which is very handy. Now, the last thing to show you with Siri is how to schedule an appointment. Now, I have an American Siri here. If I had an English Siri, which I could pick in settings, I would say schedule. But schedule is what the American Siri has a little idiosyncrasy. Schedule appointment. When is your appointment? Tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. Okay, I set up your appointment titled, Appointment for Tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Shall I schedule it? Change title. Okay, Jerry, what's the new name for this meeting? Joe Bloggs Lunch. Okay, I'll make that change to your event. Shall I schedule it? Yes. I scheduled your event for 1.30 p.m. tomorrow. The event is titled, Joe Blog's Lunch. Okay, so there's my event set up. If I want to, I can put in a location. I can put in attendees who will attend it. Um, so there's lots of things I can play around with. It'll also give me a reminder before it if I wanted a day before or an hour before. That's wonderful, Jerry. Jerry, thanks ever so much for demonstrating that for us today. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Marie.